You know, there are American heroes who don't like this idea. I was very sad to see that. Did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Elon Musk! On April 29th, 2023, SpaceX launched the Starship for its first integrated flight test. The world's largest and most advanced rocket, standing 40 stories high, cleared the launch tower and survived maximum dynamic pressure. The rocket climbed into the skies off the coast of Texas to a height of 39 kilometers, the highest of any Starship, before exploding into a ball of flames just four minutes after launch. It may seem like a failure, but this was a massive success for SpaceX, demonstrating the feasibility of Starship's powerful launch system. Starship is the most powerful launch system on the planet and will eventually carry up to 100 people on interplanetary missions. Just a few months later, the Starship is ready for the most significant milestone in its history as the following launch approaches. Join us as we take a look at what the Starship team is doing as they prepare for the next Starship launch. Before we explain the details, it's important to grasp the size of this Starship. In November 2022, NASA launched the SLS or Space Launch System, the largest and most advanced rocket the US Space Agency has ever built. However, the Starship makes it look tiny. Standing at a towering height of 400 feet, the Starship dwarfs NASA's SLS rocket. To put it in perspective, you'd need about five billboards stacked on top of the SLS to match the size of Elon's space vehicle. Additionally, SpaceX estimates that Starship has roughly twice the thrust compared to SLS. Starship is constructed using stainless steel, a material favored by Elon Musk for its cost-effectiveness, in contrast to NASA's Mega Moon rocket, which relies on super-chilled liquid hydrogen and oxygen for propulsion. Starship is powered by a combination of 10 million pounds of liquid methane and oxygen. This new fuel mixture can be stored at more manageable temperatures than liquid hydrogen, reducing the need for extensive insulation and making it less susceptible to leaks, a common challenge in NASA launches. SpaceX is particularly eager for this mission to go well, especially considering the setback they faced during a launch on April 20th, 2023. Despite that setback, there were some positive aspects to the first test flight. It represents progress on the path towards the next orbital test flight attempt, showing that SpaceX is still moving forward despite the challenges. Elon Musk and SpaceX are actively working to prevent a repeat of what they humorously referred to as a rock tornado during the upcoming Starship launch. In a recent development, SpaceX conducted an ignition test which lasted more than 2.74 seconds. During this test, four of the rocket's engines experienced early shutdown, and a deluge system designed for this purpose sprayed a significant amount of water from underneath Starship's launch platform. This intriguing test unfolded at SpaceX's sprawling Starbase launch facility in Boca Chica, Texas, and for a brief moment, viewers were treated to a live stream of this critical procedure. This ignition test marks an important milestone for SpaceX as they prepare for the next launch of their massive Starship rocket system, designed for deep space missions. The first test launch of Starship in April did not reach space, and SpaceX had to intentionally destroy the rocket when it lost control. The newly implemented water deluge system serves a vital purpose, which is to mitigate the forces and potential adverse effects resulting from the ignition of the rocket's engines during liftoff. Starship's massive Super Heavy booster, an essential component to propel the spacecraft into space, boasts an impressive 33 Raptor engines at its base, all of which are meticulously synchronized to ignite simultaneously upon liftoff. The significance of this system cannot be understated, as it not only ensures the safety of the spacecraft and its payload, but also contributes to SpaceX's commitment to achieving groundbreaking space exploration feats. The ignition of multiple Raptor engines at once proved to be quite destructive to the launch pad, as SpaceX discovered during Starship's first test flight. Even though they initially ignited only 30 Raptor engines, it generated what Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, describes as a rock tornado beneath the launch pad. 
The launch sent chunks of concrete and debris soaring thousands of feet into the air, causing damage to the launch pad and scattering debris in the surrounding area. To prevent a repeat of this explosive event, SpaceX's engineers have been installing steel plates underneath Starship's launch pad. These steel plates were carefully engineered to serve as a protective shield against the extreme conditions that accompany rocket engine ignition. They are strategically placed to intercept the intense heat and force produced by the Raptor engines, thereby averting potential damage to the launch pad structure. This ingenious approach not only enhances safety during launch, but also preserves the integrity of the launch facility itself. The recent ignition test marked the first time SpaceX attempted to test the deluge system while igniting the rocket's engines. This simultaneous activation of the deluge system and ignition test aimed to ensure a more controlled and safer launch experience. While the company didn't immediately provide explicit details on whether the test was deemed a success, the live streamer's host, John Innsbrucker, did offer some encouraging remarks. He stated that the launch pad and the launch vehicle, Starship itself, appeared to be in good condition following the ignition test. Despite the positive signs from this recent test, SpaceX has not yet announced a specific launch date for Starship's second test flight. However, Elon Musk, the visionary CEO of SpaceX, previously shared a rough estimate on Twitter during an audio discussion in late April. He suggested that Starship could be ready for its next flight in approximately six to eight weeks. Before SpaceX can proceed with another Starship flight, they must navigate a series of regulatory and safety considerations. One of the foremost challenges is to convince the Federal Aviation Administration that the systems associated with their initial flight attempt in April do not pose any threat to human safety or environmental well-being. This entails a rigorous evaluation of the technology, protocols, and safety measures in place to ensure that the rocket's operation meets the highest safety standards. The FAA plays a pivotal role in overseeing and regulating commercial space activities in the United States, and its thorough evaluation process is designed to ensure that space launches occur without compromising safety or the environment. While there's been a notable progress in SpaceX's Starship development, there's still a lack of publicly available information about the exact date for the next test flight. Typically, some key indicators of an upcoming test include notices from Boca Chica officials, FAA notices to pilots, and NASA's placement of its WB-57 aircraft. As of now, none of these indicators suggest that a test flight is imminent. However, a recent notice from the Coast Guard has hinted that SpaceX might be planning rocket launch activities in the second week of September. This is one of the few pieces of information available that suggests a potential time frame for the next Starship test flight. SpaceX will likely provide more details as the date approaches and preparations progress. The Coast Guard has been notified to alert mariners about rocket launch activities in the vicinity of SpaceX's launch site in Brownsville County, Texas. This is a procedure to ensure the safety of maritime traffic during rocket launches and is part of the coordination efforts required for space launch operations. The full notice from the Coast Guard reads, On approximately September 8, 2023, mariners operating offshore in waters east of Brownsville, Texas, are advised of rocket launching activities and associated hazardous areas which may impact navigation interests. Navigational hazards from rocket launching activity may include free-falling debris and or descending vehicles or vehicle components under various means of control. Mariners should avoid all waters within rocket flight trajectories originating from launch sites in the vicinity of Boca Chica Beach and Brownsville, Texas. The recent notice from the Coast Guard certainly serves as the first piece of the puzzle in what is becoming an increasingly intriguing narrative surrounding the second test flight of SpaceX's Starship. While Elon Musk has become notably more reserved when it comes to providing set timelines for potential launches, his recent comments and hints, especially on social media platform X, have ignited speculation that a launch might be just around the corner. As SpaceX continues its relentless pursuit of developing and refining the Starship, there's a likelihood of more testing on the horizon. These tests are crucial for evaluating the performance and readiness of the Super Heavy booster and the second stage Starship for an orbital test flight. Each test helps SpaceX engineers fine-tune the intricate systems and components, 
ensuring that they are up to the task of carrying astronauts and payloads into space safely and efficiently. The actual launch promises to be a visual spectacle, as it will involve a rare event in recent rocket history, the ignition of the rocket's second stage to separate from the first stage. This will be a significant milestone to watch in SpaceX's Starship development. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.